Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets. And I'm breaking down to bite sized pieces. Today, we've got more great stories of mass adoption. First up, Norwegian oil billionaire says Bitcoin could be worth millions of dollars each and puts liquid company assets entirely into Bitcoin. So he will join a long line of billionaires and financial institutions and corporations who are getting onto the Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and digital asset bandwagon. On top of that, We'll take a look at what's going on with Brad Garlinghouse and Ripple as they finally settle a legal dispute with YouTube over XRP scams, and that has been resolved. So the real question is, will we see less scam ads in YouTube and also scam comments? Eh, probably not, but it's a step in the right direction. And then finally, we're going to take a look at uh, what is going on with the IRS as they launch Operation Hidden Treasure to target unreported crypto income. So if you weren't scared about uh, crypto taxes, then this might lead you to shard your pants. Anyhow, we'll take a look at these uh, top stories, but first let's take a look at what's going on into the market right now. So today it is uh, March 10th, uh, 11 a.m., getting things done. Uh, been up pretty early. We're still in the um, uh, new uh, facility or our new uh, investment property here in Houston, Texas. Going to finish this up in the next two days and then rolling out to uh, El Paso. But things are going great, actually. Uh, we've got everything pretty much, I mean, pretty much done for the most part, just some some little things. And we've already had um, uh, the the house actually rented out on Airbnb and VRBO. So we've had, uh, I think we're going to, we have it rented out for like the next uh, two months, which is pretty great. So um, I know people will always talk about like, ah, you know, um, Airbnb really isn't doing too much right now and uh, because of the pandemic. But you got to remember, uh, with the pandemic really, you know, kind of coming down and winding down with all the people getting vaccination, people actually feeling better about getting out there. Um, I think it's going to be a pretty great year for 2021, 2022. And uh, this is why I've, I've always said, you know what, uh, I think people are going to start traveling. They're going to need, you know, a place to stay. And uh, if they don't like hotels, like I don't like hotels, my wife don't, uh, Airbnb is a great place. And that's why uh, picking up more properties and uh, that's just how it goes so anyhow uh, that's just our stuff let's take a look what's going on into the market uh, what everybody's here for so first up let me blow this up see what i'm talking about um hey it's a great day a lot of things are on the green a little bit of red but i mean who cares i mean we're up pretty great i mean bitcoin is going to hit fifty-seven thousand today that's fantastic five percent for the week one percent for the 24 hour uh ethereum's kind of up everything's it's, it's a little bit up over, over the last four or five days, and that's all we really care about, just incremental growth. I mean, we can't have 50% gains every single day, right? I mean, that'd be awesome, but that's unsustainable. It just is. And then, uh, man, look at Theta. Theta Network, one of my big holds. Let me bring this down. Theta Network, one of my one of my holds. I will always thank Digital Day for turning me on to this one, and uh, it's just going gangbusters. I mean, 18% for the week, 4% uh, for one hour change. I mean, wow, watch out. Uh, what else we got? Not too much. I mean, things are just kind of moving, just chugging right, right along. Let's uh, let's deal with our, our inner um, trader soul and click on the one hour projected range for trade the chain and see what could be pretty fantastic. So uh, again, Talos, again in that top spot. And uh, you're looking at, geez, 21%. Uh, gain in the next hour. 7% is the mid range and maybe 6% on the slide, but you're looking at 7% and they're at 90% accuracy for Trade the Chain. You can check it out in the description below. OST, GNY, Singularity, IOTX, I don't know what that is. Theta Network, perfect. Uh, it's going to go up 6% or maybe 3% in the next hour. Divi, Tomo Chain, not to be confused with my favorite tomato chain or tomato coin, and so on and so forth. So, Origin Trail, yeah, great. Anyhow, that's what's going on uh, in the market in general, and uh, things are doing really well. I, I think this is going to be, I mean, I know it's going to be a great year, and these are the reasons why. Let me just show you what's going on with another billionaire. So first up, uh, this gentleman here, billionaire Kjell Ingi Rokes. I'm pretty sure I nailed that name. Uh, Acre, uh, his company Acre, has established a new business dedicated to Bitcoin. And this is what is going on. So uh, his company, Acre ASA, which controls oil and oil service companies, announced Monday that it has established a new business, uh, CTAS. And what is that? Well, first of all, as it states right here, Acre is a uh, Norwegian holding company engaged in offshore fishing, construction, engineering, established only in 2004. So a uh, pretty young company, uh, if you take a look at it, really 16, 17 years. Uh, but this is the interesting part to me. The company is controlled by Roke or Roque, how do you say his name? 
with 67% ownership through TRG Holdings. So again, the company is established by Roke, um, which is the gentleman right here, and he has a commanding 67% ownership. So if you take a look at, well, these companies that really have been getting into Bitcoin, it's really just uh, like a Michael Saylor type of strategy. I mean, there's others out there, but these big ones that I'm looking at right now, uh, it's because these people are like in control of their board. Like, look, I make the rules here. And if you don't like it, grab some bench, just you know, sit back for a little warm up because I'll do all the, all the running. And uh, that's what's going on with uh, here. And what are they doing? Well, they're getting into Bitcoin, just like Michael Saylor did. So maybe he was at that conference we were all at when the, they got all the corporations together and gave them the uh, Bitcoin playbook. Anyhow, Acre described SAT as a new company dedicated to investing in projects and companies throughout the Bitcoin ecosystem, which will keep all of its liquid investable assets in Bitcoin. Let me say that again. It will keep all of its liquid investable assets in Bitcoin. All of it. Uh, CT is starting with 500 million kroner, 59 million. So people, I mean, look, right here when it says 59 million in capital, which Roke uh, called an amount we aim to increase significantly over time. You have to understand that when people think like, oh, it's just 59 million, it's not 1.5 billion uh, that Elon Musk and, uh, you know, over there at Tesla did. But, I mean, really think about it. Every type of big corporation that, that is getting in, every type of billionaire, every type of institution is just one more step towards making cryptocurrency just, you know, teeter off and uh, just for mass adoption. I think that's really the big story. We can't get everybody all at once, but if you see like, you know, a big company here, uh, a mass mutual get in, then you see like uh, this guy Roke and his uh, uh, no uh, Norwegian oil company, and you see a Tesla, and then pretty soon you're gonna see an Apple, then you might even see a Microsoft. Well, maybe not Microsoft, but I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Google, whatever else, uh, who is actually in cryptocurrency with Theta. Um, it just starts to get this snowball effect. Before you know it, everybody's into crypto. And it's just like, then you're going to see all the people who are laggards or people who just came late to the game. Like, ah, it just, it was right in front of us. And I, I don't know what happened. Well, we've been talking to you for the last, you know, seven years. So I don't know what, what, what you're waiting for. But uh, that's just how it goes as far as mass adoption. It just takes a little bit of time for people to get into their head. Just like sales. You have to have, you have to hear something seven to 10 times before you buy it. That's why you see like a Coke ad on, on TV. Then you see it on a billboard. Then you see it in like a vending machine. Before you know it, you're like, I, I should probably get, uh, drink some Coke. And that's just how the psyche works. People have to see it again and again and again. And I think this is the year when things are really starting to move. Anyhow, um, the billionaire also stated this. We will use Bitcoin as our treasury asset during the community. Uh, we will become hodlers. Well, great. Then he stated, Bitcoin may still go to zero. It, newsflash, it's not going to zero. But it can also become the core of a new monetary architecture. If so, one Bitcoin may be worth millions of dollars. I think people have to say that, that stupid phrase still. Well, it can go to zero or it could you know, go to a billion. But in all honesty, it's not going to. It, it's not going to zero. None of these, not, well, let me say this. Let me rephrase that. Not none of the cryptos are going to zero. But if you're looking at some of the, the big established ones, a Bitcoin, an Ethereum, a Cardano, a Theta, a Chainlink, they're not going to zero. They're going to be around here for a very long time. Maybe in hundreds of years. I don't know. Uh, they, uh, they could. Just like fiat goes away. All fiat throughout the entire history of the modern civilization uh, has crashed and gone away. All fiat. So uh, maybe at some point it will. But uh, in our lifetime, it's not happening. Not that I see, anyhow. Now, Maybe like a tomato coin can go away. Sure. I mean, uh, there's, there is only like a couple thousand cryptocurrencies, so why not? Anyhow, he added the direction is clear. Finance will be disrupted as surely as fossil fuels will be. The question is not if, but when. And um, this is all great uh, news, especially coming down. So if we take a look at uh, the Bitcoin treasury,
And we can see, I mean, it's the same thing. I mean, these huge companies that are just buying more and more and more. And then, you know, what it actually entails. Like, uh, so far, Michael Saylor is looking like a genius. I mean, he bought Bitcoin for not too much in August. And, uh, I mean, look, it was $2 billion, And now that's at $5 billion. I, I don't know any other stock where you can do that. Just like uh, make a couple billion. It's pretty amazing. Tesla still looking pretty good at 1.5 to 2.5. Uh, it's still a great, uh, what, <laughs> month? Two months? That's crazy. And then on down the line, uh, private companies, Mount, Go Ugh, Mount Gox, Block One, Tezos Foundation, and then ETF like the Grayscales, uh, the coin shares, the uh, e ETC Group, Bitcoin, Bitwise, all those things. So, you know, all these things that we're talking about here, again, it's all great news because um, when we start to get people into this space, the first thing they're going to say is they want social proof. They want to know who is really getting into it. Well, is it Pete down the street? Uh, you know, who's, you know, just has a little bit of money or is it like these uh, groups of billionaires who are putting their, their money behind it and going, you know what, this is the next big thing. Again, um, I think I, I, I believe I know where things are going. I'm not for a hundred percent sure, but uh, if there's an indication and I'm gonna do a video about this later, uh, this is going to be the breakout here. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on to our next piece, which is exciting to me, maybe not exciting to everybody, but uh, to me, it's great. And uh, I hate scams. Uh, we used to do scam of the day a lot. Actually, we did it like every single video. And we, we got a lot of different scams taken down uh, in a short amount of time. So thank you, everybody, who helped me out with that. But uh, this is going to move the needle a lot more than just uh, little, little old uh, Rob here at uh, Digital Asset News can do. And uh, so what happened was Ripple and Brad Garlinghouse sued YouTube. Uh, because they said, hey, using our likeness or somebody's using our likeness on your platform, which you are supposed to correct and police and you didn't do that. And now our likeness is being used on YouTube for scams. You need to do something about that. So this wasn't a uh, very, I want to say like four or five months ago, it uh, got um, resolved quite quickly. Uh, but it states here, YouTube is said to have settled a court case brought by Ripple. And we talked about why. And then this is what Brad says. Last year, at Ripple and I sued YouTube for failing to enforce its own policies by allowing fake accounts to conduct XRP giveaway scams. We've now come to a resolution to work together to prevent, detect, and take down these scams. And he talks about some more. Uh, he states, uh, social platforms are starting to acknowledge their role in allowing crypto scams to persist and recognize the needs to be part of the solution. While specific settlement terms are confidential, it's clear that without accountability and action, trust erodes in this industry at a crucial time when governments around the world are looking closely at crypto. And that's not the, I mean, this is really what it comes down to. I'm just, uh, I'm selfish and I just want things for myself. And this is what I want. Actually, that's not really true. What I really want is for everybody to not get scammed. I, every so often I'll get an email about someone who got scammed from, you know, something goofy that we talked about before. And then if you go to danteachescrypto.com, I've got a couple of videos specifically on scams and what to avoid and uh, just to not fall into it. But let me just say this. Um, I don't know if, if you, when you watch this video, if the ad before was a scam video. If it is, don't be surprised. That's just YouTube allowing this nonsense to happen, even though I think they can do a little bit better. But if you look at any of my videos, you, what, what happens here, first of all, let me go to my comments. There we go. What happens is that, YouTube, will, th th there is a filter on there and it'll, it'll look for different keywords and these are the keywords that I put in. So like in one video, I'll have spam, spam messages that are held. It's usually over 10,000 uh, comments, usually over 10,000 comments that, it, that this filter catches. These are the ones that it does not catch, which is pretty crazy. And uh, I'm just going to say like this last one that we just did yesterday. And if you'll notice, uh, I'm wearing the same exact clothes I was wearing yesterday because uh, it's just <laughs> so much going on. Uh, if you take, if you just keep looking down, you're going to find something stupid like this. See this right here where it says, uh, somebody, the six figure affiliate, always love your videos. Thanks, man. Uh, APY, things like that. Great. But it says here, appreciate your comment for further guidance. Uh, they, they don't say WhatsApp because the filters already caught WhatsApp. They don't use W H A T and then space S and then A P P. They just change it up just a little bit so the filter can't catch it. It will eventually catch it and then it'll just change again. And then these bots will keep respawning and respawning and respawning. But the thing is that, see how it's got digital asset news? It's my logo. I mean, I've seen everybody in here. I've seen uh, Hashoshi. 
I've seen <laughs> Alex Mascioli. I've seen uh, Mr. Beast on here. And they're all, I mean, they're all fake accounts. And they're all saying, hey, contact my WhatsApp. And it's just so stupid. I would never do that. But um, the big thing I want you to know is that if you see Digital Asset News without it highlighted, that's not me. So I'm going to reply real quick. Maybe I can do this. I say, hey, that's a scam. And I hit reply. And then see how like it's highlighted here, but it's not highlighted here. That's mean it's not me. I actually uh, have my assistant go through these and uh, she actually gets rid of a bunch of them. But you don't understand because then this, then the bots will just come back and respawn another uh, thousand and they'll just stick them in there. So it's like, it's worthless. And um, that's what I'm actually to do. I will ask you this. If you see something like this where it's not me, uh, just report it and then go from there. I want you to be careful though. Don't report me all the time because then I'll get my channel taken down. So don't say, oh, this is a scam when that's not me. So hopefully this uh, works itself out and, uh, but don't hold your breath. Anyhow, let me know anything in the comment section and let's move on to our last piece, which I have to tell you scares the crap out of me. And it's uh, Operation Hidden Treasure to target unreported crypto income. This is was a long time coming. Um, this is what's going on. Damon Rowe, Executive Director of the IRS Office of Fraud Enforcement, unveiled Operation Hidden Treasure last week at a Federal Bar Association presentation on combating fraud. But that was a fun time. The longtime veteran of the IRS Criminal Investigation Division explained that the office has put together a dedicated team of IRS criminal investigation pros to work in this operation. I wouldn't really be concerned about this, uh, except what it talks about next. So, a partnership between the Civil Office of Fraud Enforcement and Criminal Investigation Unit uh, aims to root out tax evasion from crypto owners. The team working on this uh, operation are trained in the areas of cryptocurrency and crypto transaction tracking. So it's not like they're just some guys who are like, hey, hey, Johnny, just you know, put that mop down and come over here and just deal with the crypto. These guys have been trained. They know exactly what to look out for, and it gets even worse. They are focused on taxpayers who emit crypto income from their tax returns. Uh, Schenk detailed the IRS is working with specialists. And if you don't know who specialists are, about a year ago, a year and a half ago, they reached out to all the big companies and said, hey, we want you to report this to us. And uh, some said no, like crypto trader our tax was like, oh, no, we're not going to help you. And then others said, yeah, we'll do it. And uh, it is what it is. So uh, just be aware that uh, there's more tools in their arsenal to find out what's going on. Anyhow, um, to identify and investigate various tax evasion signatures. These signatures may include structuring, where transactions are set up in increments of less than 10,000 to avoid certain tax reporting requirements. It also includes the use of nominees, shell corporations, or getting on and off the chain. <laughs> so these guys know all the tricks. They know what's going on. They're like, oh, you want to be slick and you want to just like, you know, put in $9,000 and just have it not reported? Uh, we'll track that. And then, oh, you want to do a shell company offshore in the Cayman Islands? We'll track that. We'll do something with that. And the people will say, oh, well, they can't track that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure they can't. Anyhow, uh, that's, a, that's bad news if, uh, if you feel like you are going to get bombed out by the IRS. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Same thing I've been saying from day one. If you need help with your taxes, go to CryptoTrader.tax. I've been using them for two years now. From the time that I signed up, the time that I filled out the forms and everything else, got the API integration into all my different uh, exchanges. It took me 30 minutes in the first one. This one took a little longer because I had to wait for Voyager. They don't have a direct API, but I got the CSV file. I emailed Voyager. They sent it over. No big deal. Sent it to my, my account. She's like, this is what it is. Great. That is that part. There's two things. If you look in the description, you get 20% off all Dan users for using CryptoTrader.tax with the link, or you can try to win a $300 tax report by putting your first name and email and then go from there. So it's up to you. And then secondly, if you don't like paying taxes at all, I don't, uh, just use iTrust. iTrust is my uh, Roth IRA. I've maxed out 2020. I've already maxed out 2021. What I like about this is because it's, it's a Roth IRA, I put the money in. When I can take it out at 59 and a half, there's some other rules too. When I take it out, it's not taxable. So whatever Bitcoin is today, if it goes up to $10 million uh, and I bought it at 10,000 and I put it in there, or let's we'll say 7,000, they can't tax it. They can't tax it because it's in a Roth IRA. The same thing with my Ethereum and Polkadot, which they're going to allow me to stake in quarter two. They can't tax all those gains and everything else. And that's a big thing. Another great thing about iTrust, 
is that uh, if you pass away, God forbid, um, your family can take your Roth immediately and not wait until that time and they can do whatever they want with it. So it's a, you know, almost like a trust. So uh, talk to the professionals over there. Uh, again, there is a link in the description. Dan users get 30 days for free. And again, if you got a 401k, 403b, TSP, or whatever else you have, you want to roll it over, talk to those guys. I set up a 30-minute session and they told me all about it. So again, link in the description. There's also a video I did. It's about 20 minutes long and explains the whole details of what goes on there. So, all right. So look, uh, that is it. Um, look, if you made it all the way to the end, first of all, I want to say thanks. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That always helps tremendously in the channel. It really does. And uh, consider subscribing because a lot of things we talk about are time sensitive, especially these things that we just talked about right now. And uh, that's all. I will put two more videos up on the left and right. Uh, we'll talk about, especially this one about iTrust. And then I'll let YouTube do its magic on the other one. So that is all for today. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.